Right, welcome back everybody. Back in the poly tunnel. It's uh, Friday today. We've got this um, storm going off. It's really windy out here. You might not be able to uh, hear me very well. I've microphoned this. It's been sent back to a uh, road because I've had issues with it. I've just got back off on the day, literally this morning. I thought I'd just quickly come out here. We'll do a bit of an update video just to get you a bit of content for uh, Saturday. So let's take a look and see what we've got going on in here. Right then, so as you can see here, I've had a lot of questions about this. We've actually started putting the uh, TZR engine back together. You can see we've got the new bearings in there and uh, the crank case is uh, buttoned up now, both halves. Uh, there was a video on this, but as I say, I've been having a few issues with my uh, equipment and I've actually lost all the footage of putting this back together. So pretty gutted about that but there's nothing I can do about that it's gone now so we just have to move forward on that which was a shame because I'd like to have a record of it for for the bike basically so as you can see I've just got it uncovered now just so I can give you a, a bit of a look round this was uh, vapor blasted a few months back this piston is uh, not very old. The chap only done about 500 miles on this. He actually re the, rebuilt the engine before he parked it up um, 18 years ago. So it was all new in there. I've still got the other stuff here. Uh, these bearings, that's perfect still. There's no noise at all in them. But I didn't want to uh, risk it. They're all good. They're all still free turning. So could have probably gotten, got away with them again, but while I had the casings apart, it was just uh, right to do that. So I will have to get myself some uh, new friction plates maybe. Then again, I'll have to check them as well. I say this was all re replaced and it only done literally 500 miles or so. So we'll just have to look into that. We had the manual out there. To be honest with you, it wasn't very helpful, the manual. We ended up looking back at the videos of uh, when we stripped it down I need to uh, re-sandblast this again and this because I don't like that silver paint on there it just looks uh, cheap and tacky so the TZR is still under there bloody windy isn't it eh? can you hear that look at the sides I don't know if you can see that moving on we've got the Piaggio the NRG the front wheel and the forks I haven't done nothing with that since the last video Nice to have it rolling again though, rolling frame, just to make it easy to move her about. I've got all the fairies up here. I'm gonna hopefully be ordering the paint next week for this so we can get these fairings in some paint and uh, hopefully get them back on the bike and get that bike up and out basically. And then once this one's done and out the way, I want to hopefully get the engine back in the TZR. We'll get maybe that on the stand. We'll get a few more bits bolted onto that. And then I want to bring my other uh, scooter in. Let's just go outside and take a look at the scooter that I want to bring in next. So we're outside now. It's really windy. So this is the scooter I want to be doing after the Piaggio NRG, I think. I just want to clear up some of these bikes. The ones uh, I won't be keeping for very long. I've still got the RXS here. If you want to see a build on one of these, Go check on my dad's channel on the Retro Restore channel. He's actually doing his one at the minute. But this one will be a future project on the, my channel. He's changing all the front running gear on his. He's going for the YBR forks and uh, handlebars and the, the wheels. So I'm hope, I'll probably be going to keep mine original. So we've got a Honda XARX. You don't see many of these scooters about now. So getting quite a... A rare scooter to this one. This is on a T-plate. So yeah, we've got these two bikes here that will be coming up in the future. But I say this one will be in the near future. Don't know if this will be this year. This one will probably get started once the TZR is done. It'll be a bit of a long-term ongoing one again. So not sure what I'm doing with the TZR yet. If I'm keeping it or if I'll be selling it. So still got the old uh, FZR 600 there. That is just literally run out of... Um, tax so i think it might be out of mot as well now so i won't be using that one on the road for now until uh see what happens in the summer if i get it back on the road again still got the thundercat here i do really need to advertise this and get it um sold so we can get rid of that one we've got the 
GSXR Suzuki S Rad. I do want to be getting that on the channel soon. And we've got the GSXR Slingshot. That's going to be another long term one, that one. Because uh, I say both, these bikes are all going up in value, they're all uh, future classics, but this one's going to be a bit of a longer, longer one. This one, this one, and the FZR 600 are going to be long term projects along with the RXS and the TZR. So I want to be getting rid of the Thundercat anytime now, and I want to get this GSXR S Rad, it just wants to brake lever replacing because it's missing and it wants a, a new headlight back in the plastic behind the headlight so not a lot really on that one and it will want a back tire on it as well that is a quick turnaround that's ready to go so i want the thundercat one i want the gsxr 750 up. no it's a gsxr 600 i think that one the s rad i want that gone the thundercat gone the Piaggio NRG gone, the Honda XR8X gone, and the Vauxhall Astra Zone gone, and also the ST220 will be going as well. So we've got two cars, four bikes getting ready to go. The two cars are practically ready to go. Uh, the Piaggio NRG will be ready in the next. Uh, two to three weeks hopefully the Thundercat's pretty much ready to go now so we've got a few things to uh, get listed now and get things moving get rid of some things get some money in so we can get some other projects on the go as well so let's start moving things forward with the channel now next video I think will be a, a lawnmower one let me just take you outside and show you what I want to be doing right we're back out in the wind now but what I've got here is I've got these two uh, cylinder mowers and this one out the two is a really good one. It starts and runs fine. The chap was saying once, once he got it out of the van, he actually dropped it from his van to the floor and it's actually bent that roller. So once you're mowing, you're getting a, a bit of a bouncing effect. So I'm going to swap the rollers out because that's a good uh, roller on that one. So we'll put that roller on here and this will be a, a nice good mower. Just wants to clean up. And then I'll stick that back on there and I might just out that one uh as a it's a runner but it'll just be a spares or repairs one i think that one just to uh, get rid of it unless i can use the spares for any of the other mowers i've got and then i might just keep it as a breaker but i don't really want to be keeping mowers around just for the sake of it if i can get 30 quid for it as a spares or repairs i'd happily do that so and i've still got this old um, big uh, 20 inch cut down here the McCulloch I just got to get the drive belt for that I need to order it. I've got it in me watching this so maybe after this video I might just uh, jump on eBay and quickly order that and that can go then a couple more things I need for the Piaggio NRG as you can see this uh, seat is cracked it does uh, want rear upholstering maybe it could do with a, a new seat but they're over 100 quid for these seats not very cheap at all for the early NRGs the foam was actually cracked as well so I don't know if I could get away with just recovering that, maybe it might want foam in or a new piece of foam on it. So it's all uh, rock hard and brittle that. So I think maybe pulling that off, it might even damage the foam anyway. So I need to see what I'm going to be doing with that. That bloody wind's picking right up now. Got a bit of uh, plastic cracked here. I was going to replace this to see if I can replace it. Again, they're a bit of a nightmare to find, but looking at that i reckon the that plastic gun will pull that back together nicely actually close that crack up and uh, get a couple of staples in there and that'll be it make a nice repair on that actually so that's probably salvageable that i say it's not a restoration this uh, scooter it's just like a quick well like not a quick turnaround we've been on it for a while but it cost me next to nothing this bike and it would make me a nice little profit in all my videos, I keep getting asked about these two uh, Yamaha's here. We've got the RD125 and the RD200. They're not mine. My mum and dad's bikes. You're not going to see no content on my channel from these. Uh, they'll probably be coming up on the Retro Restore channel. But I say it's not going to be any time soon. There's other projects going on. He's got the RXS on. He's got the Mobilette going on. So it's, these are just basically investments. So, so if you do want to see any content on these, 
check out Retro Restore and they will be on there in the near future. Right, so not a lot of action going on this video. I'll say it was just a bit of a look around, see what's to, uh, to come on the channel, what's coming, what's going. So if you're interested in any of the vehicles, uh, say the, the Vauxhall Astra, the Ford Mondeo ST220, the Thundercat, or the Piaggio NRG, they're all going to be up for sale in the next few weeks. So keep an eye out for them. As I say, I've just literally got back off on the day a couple of hours ago, and I wanted to come down here just to uh, film a little bit of content for yourself. Because I say there was no video on Wednesday, so I just thought I'd come and do this little update, give you something to watch on a Saturday night. Who knows, it might even be a premiere. I'm getting a few uh, positive comments about the premieres we're doing now. And um, there's a few people that don't like them. It's not to everyone's cup of tea, but probably about 75, 80% of the subscribers actually are liking these premieres. They're just like interacting with us in the chat box. So I think for the time being, I'm gonna keep running with the premieres. Uh, I'm not so much uh, a live fan myself. I do watch a few lives, but I don't like going up on the panel. It's not me really. I, I'm happy to stick my head in the chat now and again, not very often, but you will see me in the, the chat box now and again just to say hello and all that but I don't really find that it does anything for my channel really it's um, it's more like a hangout place for you to meet up with your friends basically so I don't do lives I just say it, it doesn't I don't see that it does any uh, growth for my channel I've had a few comments where people say oh you shouldn't do a premiere because so and so is on live at the minute YouTube's a big enough platform everyone could get on tonight while you're watching this premiere now, what is it, Saturday night, who will be on? you have Top Conquer on. Oh, he'll have all these regulars still in there. They won't come across here to watch this, and I don't expect them to, because they was with Conquer first. They should stick with Conquer. My video's still going to be there when they finish, so I don't see the problem of um, people getting a bit funny about you are doing a premiere because someone's live, or you can't go live when someone else is live. Hold up, who's coming in? Yeah. I just say you've got to remember there's no microphone so you've got to speak up. Why now any microphone? Because it's been sent back to road. Oh right, okay. What are you doing here? Well I just had a bit of an update, I've just told them I've been on holiday. Yeah. And uh, he thought this would be done but it's already come back, but I've yeah, been I busy. It, I thought it might have been done. So I was just finishing off the video but I was just on about the premieres. What about them? Well I was just saying that they seem to uh, since I've been doing them, I seem to be getting double, triple views on my videos. Yeah, that's good. And I was just mentioning that I've heard on the YouTube that you shouldn't put a premiere on when someone else is live. It's a big no-no. YouTube's a big place, my friend. That's what I've just said to them. So, right, anyway, that's enough waffle for this video. So that was only a little update just for getting back off holiday. And until next time, we'll see you about.